Okay everyone, I want to show how to do a sprite animation. There's a, a few things out there, or a few tutorials out there, but a lot of what people are doing is they're, they're typing out how to do it, and it drives me nuts. I haven't really found any where they actually talk you through it. Uh, I know there's probably some out there, I just haven't found them. Uh, so I'm going to talk you through how to do this. Uh, I'm using Adobe Flash CS6, and I'm using Photoshop CS6 for this tutorial. Uh, so let's open up Photoshop. Uh, I already have a sprite sheet loaded. Okay, so for the next step you want to open your sprite sheet which you can get off of Google I don't know if you're looking for Zelda or Mario or whatever in this case I'm using Super Mario Brothers 2 sprites because I like them uh, so I'm looking at this sprite sheet and I want Mario walking left there he is walking left there he is with his legs open if I want him to walk right it doesn't matter I use the same sprites I could just flip it later and flash so I highlight Mario and I hit control C um, and then the next step I'm going to open a new file and it will uh, it'll automatically make the new file to the size of my cutout. So once you've cut out Mario, uh, cut out Mario from the Mario layer here, uh, you're going to create a new layer right there. You're going to go edit, you're going to paste, and there's Mario there. You're going to line Mario up right over top of the other one. I want to make sure his feet are still touching the ground there. Uh, so if I take away Mario, they're superimposed over top of each other. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to I'm going to grab my my crop tool, which has changed a little bit in CS uh, six. So now it's, you click on the side and drag in. Uh, click the arrow, hit crop. So now you have Mario cropped out, and you want to go ahead and you want to save that. Make sure both layers are lit up. This other layer here is garbage. You can get rid of that. Make sure both are lit up and save it as a PSD. In this case, we're going to call it a Mario Sprite .psd. And like I said, make sure both of these are on. Okay, so you got Flash open. What you want to do now is move your sprite into the library. Uh, make sure you move your sprite into the library. So you go import, import to library. You want to go ahead and you want to select um, Mario Sprite.psd. So you got it selected there. So you click to open that. What's going to happen is you're going to have the screen pop up. It's going to have Mario A and B. Make sure both of those are selected. Uh, then you can hit OK. Okay, so you, okay, so you got Mario basically in both states right now. Uh, I apologize if my mouse cursor keeps bouncing all over the place. It's uh, this this recording software doesn't allow me to cut and paste anything when I record, which is just stupid. But anyway, so you got Mario A and Mario B. So what you want to do is go to five, say on Mario A state, and insert a, a blank keyframe uh, right up there. Now, this keyframe, uh, of course, is blank, but this is where, where Mario B is going to go. Mario A is there, uh, right here, you see both, but next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight B, and we're going to right-click it, and we're, of course, going to copy those frames. We're going to hit Copy Frames. And let's go ahead and paste them on that blank keyframe we made. Paste Frames. And you know what? Let's insert. Actually, let's, let's insert a frame right here. Not a keyframe, but a frame. So now Mario is in this state, and he's in this state. Of course, we have to get rid of this. Uh, we're going to hit remove frames now, so he's not doubled. So here's Mario walking. So that's going to now stay in Mario Sprite. That's going to be the this, this states of him walking. Okay, so now we're ready to move Mario into our scene. So we're going to go to the scene, and we're going to go on the Mario layer which I already made. If you don't have one, make one. You don't want it to be on your background. You're going to grab Mario and you're going to drag him onto the... Oops. <laughs> make sure that's selected. Frame selected. Now drag Mario on... Oh, you're not going to be able to unless you, you insert a, a blank keyframe. Uh, insert blank keyframe. Put Mario on there. So now Mario's on the screen. Uh, he's too small, so let's go to properties. Uh, 16, let's multiply that by, how about 3? should be 3 times bigger. Uh, there we go. Let's move him to the far left. So now you have Mario sitting on the screen. Uh, he's obviously the wrong way, uh, so we want to go to modify. And we want to go to transform. Uh, let's, uh, let's flip him horizontally. Okay, so now that you have Mario uh, in your left-hand corner, you wanna you wanna highlight that layer that he's on, 
right click create motion tween. Uh, so now you have a motion tween going. So wherever you move along this line you can put Mario where you want him to be. So say I want 85 steps. Once I get to 85, say I want to move him by the pipe. So I got to click on him and I got to drag him over to the pipe. And you may notice that he just appeared there again, but that's because this awesome Cam Studio considers that cutting and pasting as well. It won't record if I actually drag him over for you. Um, but anyways, uh, I want him now to take uh, maybe 92, let's say around here, this many steps to jump. So I'm going to click him, I'm going to drag him up to here. So now I got Mario up here. Obviously Mario's got to got to come down. I got to click on him again, and I got to I got to drag him down to here because you know Mario's walking, jumps up. So now I move to well I don't know maybe it takes this many frames for him to fall. So I'm gonna click on him, drag him down to there. So now he's happening down there. Here we go. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. There he is. Walks, lands on the pipe. So if we rewind, we watch it. Here goes Mario. He's walking, jumps up, he's on the pipe. So, anyways, you you can have some fun with this. Uh, this is this is a basic way that I do. Uh, you know, I got a Creative Cloud, so I got uh, Photoshop CS6 and Flash CS6. So this is just one of the ways, various ways you can animate a sprite. It's just an easy way for people that like to use Photoshop and such. You can actually edit them through Flash and such, but that's another story for another time. Anyways, uh, you know, comment, like, subscribe, whatever. I'm the Whistler, and let me know what you guys think. All right, have a good one.